quick tutorial on parallels. So if I just click here on the icon, parallels, takes a second to load as you can see. This will help me run uh, Windows 10 on my Mac, which is very convenient for applications or software that can't run on Mac. And it's a little easier than Boot Camp because uh, I can run Mac and Windows 10 at the same time. Boot Camp, you can only run one or the other. Now, keep in mind, this does take a lot of um, RAM. So I did upgrade my Mac from 4 to 8 gigs of RAM. Um, when I do run Windows 10, it takes, I uh, believe, about, it boosts it up to about 6 gigs of RAM out of 8. So I have it set up where I need a password uh, to start my virtual machine. So as you can see, it's starting Windows 10. And right here, it's, it's running. It's kind of a little display. And how I know when Windows 10 is actually up and running is down here, it will show a C drive. And that's when I know t Windows 10 is up and running. And it takes a couple minutes because it is an operating system. So, oh, there it is, when Windows 10. So now, as you can see, there's these lines, which means that these are parallels. So on my virtual machine, so here's Windows 10. If I click on it, one more time, there it is. Oh, oh, let me put that back. So here is Windows 10. So I can go into settings. You have all my settings. As you can see, the mouse is a little different. See how it's white? And then I scroll over to my Mac. It's black. Oh, looks like I have some updates to do. But... So I exit out of that and I just go back to there and it's yeah it's pretty simple so this is the Windows operating system I can literally do anything within Windows and here's parallels which I can you know kind of modify a little bit of what I want Windows to do in a way um, but it's fairly simple all you do is you Download Parallels. I bought the subscription, which it's I think it was like fifty or seventy dollars or something like that, and it's lifetime. Um, just pay that one-time fee, and then uh, I was fortunate to have um, Windows 10 for free. I got it through uh, a university that I go to, but um, yeah, you just open up parallels and then download Windows 10 and then you literally have Windows 10 running on your Mac and so you, as you can see there's all these different icons you can kinda see it right here in this section right here you can install antivirus software you can do settings within Windows this is Windows 10 settings and this little button right here is how you shut Windows 10 down. So what I do is I usually shut Windows 10 down first, wait till it's fully down, and then I close Parallels. Just, I don't know, just kind of what I like to do. So I'll give you an example. If I close it, which I have password set up to change the virtual machine state. So I'll close it, and as you can see, it's shutting it down. As you can see, it, this is or the C drive disappeared and then this will disappear in a minute yep there it goes it disappeared when it's done loading that means it's in a sleep state and then you can just simply click on here and then quick click uh, quit parallels desktop so you can download Windows 7, 7.1, Chrome OS, Windows 10, I have Windows 10 so you can definitely do a lot it's definitely something I recommend All right.